even more energetic than fission is nuclear fusion. Fusion is the creation of larger elements from smaller ones. This is energetically favorable, meaning that energy will be released when fusing elements up to iron 56. However, fusion is not easy to achieve since two nuclei will repel each other very strongly due to the force of electrical repulsion called coulombic repulsion. Fusion is able to occur within stars due to the immense temperatures and pressure within. In fact, it is the fusion process within stars that is responsible for the heavier elements all throughout the universe. Stars produce the heavy elements and upon their death, certain massive stars undergo a supernova explosion, which seeds a wide area around them with these materials. If this process did not take place, then our universe would consist mostly of hydrogen and helium with trace amounts of lithium from the early days of creation. To quote the famous Carl Sagan, we are all made of star stuff. The atoms of the earth and even the atoms of our bodies originated from within stars that lived and died long ago. There are many different ways to synthesize helium from hydrogen atoms and the actual fusion process within the sun occurs in many different ways. Our sun's core has a temperature of approximately 15 million degrees Celsius, which separates hydrogen atoms into a plasma consisting of separate protons and electrons. These conditions make it possible for fusion to occur. In one process, four protons can combine together to produce one helium nucleus and two positrons. However, we are unable to achieve this type of reaction here on Earth, since we can't reach the temperatures and pressures required. One alternative reaction that takes place in the sun involves deuterium and tritium, which are isotopes of hydrogen that combine to produce a helium atom, a neutron, and energy. The output neutron particle can convert another deuterium atom into tritium to support additional reactions. This reaction can take place using temperatures of a few million degrees Celsius, which is much more attainable here on Earth. The deuterium-tritium reaction was applied in the first hydrogen bomb detonated in 1952, an immensely powerful weapon that used fusion to release the power of the stars right here on Earth. 